welcome to another video. In today's video, it's the six month review of my new teeth and how messed up the United States dental system really is. Okay, first and foremost, I love my teeth. They're great. It's kind of stressful, maybe not the right word, having fancy teeth because I'm constantly worried about my teeth like about you know here's some work I'm doing right now and just for something to come and smack me in the mouth or something like that I'm, I mean I am almost ready to buy like a boxing kind of mouth guard to have working this so there's a lot of paranoia that goes along with having fancy teeth talking and I've figured out that like the gap between my teeth used to be like a, a pressure release valve so air wouldn't get stuck between my tongue and the top of my teeth. So now that they're all correct, like it's, it's a little different talking, you know, no, no big deal. I have to cut up some foods because you can't just like, I mean, I used to be able to pick apples right through a fence. Now I can't just eat an apple like that. I have to chop it up, right? So super happy with everything. And you have to realize that this part right here, which is all I technically needed because I bit a fork, broke a tooth, multitasking, <laughs> was editing and eating a salad at the same time and bit a fork. So I need, lost a tooth, had another tooth that was janky, and so this bottom part here in Bend, $10,000 for just that, okay? In Mazatlan, Mexico, all that for a little over 8,000. Obviously there's other expenses with going to Mexico and stuff like that, but all this, would have probably been like forty or fifty thousand dollars here in the United States. So crazy expensive, right? And now while I was in Mexico getting this done, I was in the dentist quite a bit. And they had people from the United States and Canada, a lot of retired type people coming in there constantly. Every day I was in there always somebody in there and they would only be in there for like 10 20 minutes they would schedule a cleaning they'd come in and get a cleaning with the little hypersonic cleaning device and it would take 10 20 minutes and that was it okay and they had people just going through going through okay I had a bad experience when I was a little kid a dentist lied so I had cavities I didn't have cavities I never had another cavity again okay so he could make the money selling my dad cavity, selling my cat, you know, it was a scam. All right, so I just never went to dentists because I thought they were scammers or I knew they were scammers, okay? They are here in the United States. That's the difference. Mexico, they're freaking artisans. They're skilled craftsmen. They're honest working people that do a freaking awesome job for an awesome price and are super nice the whole time okay it's an amazing experience compared to the s-hole united states lawyers have written so much horse shit into it it's just a garbage system you can't just go get a cleaning no it's two visits in the united states to get a cleaning they want to charge like $400, $200 a visit and take an hour to do the cleaning. They're not doing any better than they're doing in Mazatlan at all, okay? They're just gaming and freaking milking because lawyers, oh, it's the law that says we have to do all this other stuff instead of just giving you a cleaning. I now see the system's garbage because of lawyers. But now that we have this garbage system, the only we have to play the garbage games. So the way to make dental 
in the United States, a little less garbage is forcing through garbage laws, i.e. freaking lawyers, okay? That's why the system's so junk is because of lawyers. But we need a law that says that dentists need to just offer cleanings. This whole barrier to just getting a quick cleaning. I mean, what if people are just traveling and they just want to go in and get a cleaning? They don't want to fucking be going back and forth and getting extra. Just need a cleaning. I don't need you to go and do nothing. Just clean my teeth. That's it. They're traveling. No, can't do that. Can't just go get a cleaning. It's all this huge, oh, this is, oh, this level of service. No bullshit. It's a level of extraction of your money for nothing. Okay? They charge you this crazy amount for freaking x-rays like it's back in the days when they're putting film in and, and they got one x-ray in a whole bill. Now they got x-rays at every booth. It's a computer, da, 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 you know, pew, 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 no big deal. They still charge this astronomical fee for x-rays. They don't in Mazatlan. <laughs> they just like, you know, let's just, just, just check. The x-ray, make sure everything's, you know, fine. We did work. X-ray, actually, you know, no extra charges, right? So, at this point, I got these fancy teeth now that I'm super happy with. But I live in a shithole country, the United States, that has been corrupted by lawyers to the point where you can't even just go get a cleaning. You can't just call a, a dentist and say, hey, I'd like to schedule an appointment for a cleaning. No, you got to schedule an appointment for this. Oh, you got to come and do our intake. And then you got to get an examination. And then you got to get uh, x-rays. And then we'll schedule for another appointment. Are you kidding me right now? That's how bad it is. I literally looked up how much money it would cost to fly to Mazatlan. Because you know what? I don't want to be in a dentist. As much as I even like, love... The dentist in Mazatlan, right? Mazatlan, excuse me. I don't want to spend a bunch of time in their office either. But I know if I was to go to Mazatlan for dental work, I would be in the dentist's office for like maybe 30 minutes, but I'd be in the chair for like 10, 20 minutes, and that would be it. That would be it. Done. See ya. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I could literally fly to Mazatlan and just do one 10 minute trip. That's preferable to me rather than go to these dentist office here in the United States, which are just, I hate them. They're just these, there's one dentist. There's a million not a dentist. There's ladies at the front desk, all this. It's just like, it's this big overblown and to afford this big overblown system they've created they have to charge $400 to clean your teeth. That should be like, I don't know, if you're going to be in there for like 10, 20 minutes for the cleaning, you know, oh, 100 bucks, sure, I guess. Do you need $100? Okay, fine. But no, they want $400. 354 It's It's mine. It's so dumb. I would prefer to fly. And see, now this is the problem, right? You get fancy teeth. You don't really have a choice. You got to get the cleaning every six months or you can have issues. But now I'm stuck in this shit old state that wants, you know, and I don't know if it's like this in Washington. I might actually just call Washington and see if I can just make an appointment up there. But, you know, the lawyer infection has gone through this country where to its point of it's just everything's stupid and garbage and just just ridiculous. Four hundred dollars for fucking twenty minutes worth of work. You know what I'm saying? Like, so anyway, this is how dentists actually make or uh, lawyers and dentists actually make people less healthy. Dental hygiene is so important, and so many people just are not even you know, doing it because of bad dentists, because of stupid laws written by ignorant lawyers. This is the problem with the United States. Too many lawyers writing too many stupid things for too long. 
okay? And you know how to know if a system is absolutely garbage or not? How many cages do they have to back up their stupid laws? You keep writing stupid laws, you keep needing more cages. We have more cages than anybody in the world, i.e. our system is worse than everybody else's. Peace.